yeah period get into it hold on y'all see the fit big jsu big 1400 big live 25 what is you talking about do not play with me i am that girl <laughs> no i'm playing y'all but get into how y'all get into it because that's how we get into it and we about to start this video so first off i just want to say thank you guys for staying up to date on my content liking commenting subscribing i really do appreciate it it makes me feel really happy because that means all y'all just becoming my friends um, also like everybody who's commenting and subscribing like keep doing that tell your friends show your auntie cousin dog sitter baby cousin uncle the videos too because they may want to watch my videos they may want to know some content about college and or they in love with Jackson State and they want to know like what's the daily life of a student so tell them tap in too so the second thing this video is an advice video for college freshmen JSU freshmen um specifically but if you're a college freshman still watch this video because when I was looking for videos I was watching every school I didn't care if they was if it was grambling I was like oh okay let me write that down oh y'all y'all don't got parking oh okay let me not go there but I mean I ain't got no car but if I had a car that'd be important to me so period pick Jackson State because we 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 got somewhere you can park your car if you're a freshman because you can have a car so per anyways um So I got my handy dandy notebook. I've been writing in this notebook so much, like y'all would not even believe. I got so many things planned as far as like TikTok, Instagram, everything. So make sure y'all follow my Instagram and TikTok right now. Both of them are gonna be right here. Follow them right now. Leave the video, come back, follow them. It's been a, it's gonna be on go. Y'all gonna be like, dang, she posted, she posted so many videos. Oh my gosh. The fits, immaculate. Oh my gosh. So yeah, tap in with that for real. Boom. Take out your notebooks and write some of this stuff down. These are really gems that I'm going to drop on y'all this entire video. So if y'all not taking physical notes, take mental notes because a lot of this stuff helped me and a lot of this stuff will help y'all. And if you use it correctly and you actually apply some of this stuff to your college life, you're going to succeed. And you just got to you just gotta know you. I'm telling you, just work hard and you're going to succeed no matter what you do. As long as you putting the work in, you, you're going to get it. I swear you're going to get it. So we're going to start with our first question. How is co-ed dorms? Co-ed dorms, I personally have not stayed in a co-ed dorm because I don't know, but from being in a co-ed dorm when Alexander was co-ed, it's cool, it's a little vibe. Like they got the community area downstairs where everybody hang out. That's usually the kicky spot for some people. As far as co-ed dorms, we have, we had three, but now it moved to two because Alex got transformed into a all female store. But for a co-ed, we have Campbell and we have the Sades. The Sage are for upperclassmen only, and Campbell is for sophomore and up. So, if you want Campbell or the Sage, make sure you do your housing as soon as it opens, or you're gonna end up like the 500 people who do not have housing. So please, 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 do your housing. But that was besides the point. Co-ed dorms are very fun from what I've seen. How is the food? In my opinion, in my opinion, I like the old calf because the student center, I just like the student center food. You can see everybody coming in and out. It was a big open space. You can mingle. If you see your friend Sally all the way over there, you can be like, oh, sh Sally, Purr, girl, look at your fit, eating, eating. But in the new calf, if you're not sitting by the doors, you can't see Sally come in and you probably never gonna know that Sally was even in the calf that day. And that's something I ain't really like because I like to see everybody who come in. I like looking at people's outfits and like, okay, period, she eating, she eating. But I can't really do that unless I sit next to the door. But if you sit next to the door, everybody gonna see you because it's only a couple people who sit by the door. So yeah. But food overall, it's all right because we basically in the, the calf now and it's kind of the same selections every day. And after a while, you're gonna get tired of it. So make sure you use your Tiger Bucks. Now, what Tiger Bucks? Do not spend all your Tiger Bucks the first week, first month. You need them to last you the whole first semester. Yeah. And make sure, remember that's money that you put in there. So spend all that money because that's your money. Because they it ain't no rollover. It don't go to the next semester or the next year. So spend it all before the end of the semester. But don't spend it all in the first couple of months. Which promoters throw the best parties? Which promoters throw the best parties? I'm going to cap to y'all. Look, look, hear me out. I'm sorry, y'all shaking. Look, hear me out, hear me out. The best party promoter. 
the best one stay woke no cap no cap a stay woke party gonna go every time so like, tap in with them i'm telling y'all y'all gonna yeah i'm a gorilla in a no i'm playing <laughs> y'all know all hbcus is located in a little not so great area so make sure y'all got some running shoes or some crocs so you can put it in small small in case something go down but they parties be going so go ahead go just make sure you got the right equipment to get there and go home safely what is it like living in the dorms i'm gonna be truthful with y'all okay i'm gonna be truthful with y'all there is visitation there is but you need to follow visitation rules or you're gonna get a fine and you do not want to be paying 150 dollars because you tried to sneak sadly into your room well, I don't know how much fun is, but it's probably like a hundred. So it's a good little hefty fun. You don't want to pay a hundred dollars for Sally, especially if Sally your sneaky link. Cause now you mad and, and you ain't even, you ain't even link. Y'all just sneaked in, ain't no link and you wasted a hundred. So don't, don't sneak people in y'all. Um, this in lobby, that was the goal. Like they have game nights in there. They be having little events in there. So go to them events. They be paying and stuff. Like this and be having everything. That's the boys doing. They be having everything. So go in there and like mingle a little bit. You need to know this is Mississippi. Everything is not updated. I'm just letting you know that now. If you think you finna get the best air conditioning and best heat system you ever had in your life, this is not that. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not that. So um, when it's hot outside, if they got the heat on, the heat gonna stay on. And if it's cold outside and they got the air on, the air is gonna stay on. There is nothing you can do. You can't tell your RA, you can't. Tell they cannot change it. There's nothing they can do. You just gotta wait till the school change the system over to cooling or heating. So there's gonna be fire drills and it's gonna be at the most inconvenient times. You're gonna be asleep. You got class in the morning and they wanna ring the bell at 5 a.m. Or they wanna ring the bell at three in the morning. You just gotta get up so you don't get no fun. It's, it's gonna flood, it's gonna flood, it's gonna flood. Get insurance or protection on your items that you bought for school. Anything that's gonna be on the ground, get insurance or know how you're gonna get a new one because my room did flood once and our building has flooded and caught on fire before. So make sure you just have stuff in certain places like your important papers, like if you're bringing your birth certificate and all that, have that in a box that you know not gonna get soaked up be prepared for everything because everything will happen throughout the school year stuff is inevitable and water water may shut off it's it's just a jackson thing sometimes they pipes either freeze or something is going on with their water you need to you know have your bottles of water to the side or ask a friend and on the other side of the building can you use their shower or ask a friend in a different dorm can you use their shower and you know get yourself together don't don't ever just because they said oh water not working don't take no shower take a shower it'd be hot please wear deodorant it'd be hot and you're gonna stink you're gonna stink fast please how easy will it be to get accommodations outside of campus as a freshman as far as housing state. you only get on campus housing from jackson state but we do have a shuttle and the shuttle takes you to and from walmart so if you ever need to go grocery shopping and you don't have a car on campus you could take the shuttle is there any parking spaces for freshmen the ones that have their own transportation yes there is parking spaces however there is not a specific parking place just for freshmen if people are telling y'all please please listen to me if they're saying oh yeah park inside where it's gated at please don't do that your car is going to get told or you're going to be salty if it says reserved do not park there if it says reserved do not park there it's not reserved for freshmen your car will get told you have to pay to get it out and pay the ticket please 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 don't just park anywhere park in a parking spot that don't say reserved what happens if you got caught with weed or alcohol in your dorm room okay so that goes along you will either two or three things you get a fine and they give you a warning or you get it spilled because weed is illegal in the state of mississippi and underage, underage drinking is illegal. So they could, you know, send you to like JPD for that, which is Jackson Police Department. So they could send you, you know, to the big house and you don't need a, none of that. So don't have it on your person. Don't have it in your room, please. Cause I do not want y'all to get, you know, y'all freshman year taken away for y'all. Cause if, I, if you get suspended at Jackson State, minimum suspension is one year. 
So not, oh, a couple days like high school. No, you get suspended an entire year and they're keeping your money. So don't have none of that like out in the open where people could see or don't have it where you know you're gonna get caught. What is your favorite part of JSU and what is your least? My favorite part of JSU is just the opportunities. You can literally meet anybody from anywhere and socialize with them. As a as a military kid, that's like a good thing for me because I've been doing that my whole life, just talking to people from different walks of life. But you can also find your place. And that's really important to me because as a, like I said, as a military kid, I did not know my place in the world. I just know, you know, my name's Kay and I like to do these certain things, but I don't think I'm good enough to do those. Or my name's Kay and I like to, I want to be like this, but I don't know how to get there. When I came to college, I didn't have a plan of, oh, I'm going to join this club and do this thing. The only thing I knew was I wanted to get myself out there. And I also wanted to just make actual friends, real genuine connections and make that college that college friendship story and that college love story, you know, all that stuff. I wanted to do that. That's all I knew. But after coming to college and I came to Jackson State and I seen everybody so welcoming and like everybody just real, you can really find your people and find yourself. What I will say is I stay true to me every step of the way. I, I stay genuine because that's just how I am. I stay happy for most of the time because that's just me. I like to have a smile on my face to make others feel okay. Because I know how I feel to not be okay and have somebody come up to you smiling, welcoming you. You feel a little a little better. So yeah, that's really my favorite part. Just the community aspect and the fact that you can find your place and fit in anywhere. And as far as my least favorite, my least favorite about JSU will probably be um, the distance it is away from everything. Because Jackson is the capital. However, there's not many things to do in Jackson. So you have to go to Ridgeland or Floorwood and stuff like that. And that's kind of a little drive away. And if you ain't got no car, you got to take an Uber. If your friends ain't got no car. But also, if you're a person who don't like asking people for rides, you know, because you don't want them to feel like, oh, I'm using you for just this. It's kind of hard to get around. And that's extra money you're wasting. So my least favorite would be just the distance away from all the stuff that's going on. How do you manage study habits and completing work? I so, personally do not study. I don't know how to study. I'm gonna learn, like I'm trying to learn now how to study so I can come back better next semester. But me personally, I don't know how to study. Um, there is tutoring available to everybody. There's study rooms, there's um, the library. There's so many places you could go that's gonna keep you focused and it's just gonna be a safe space to do your work. And the you can also sit outside the game room. There's a little bit of, like there's a row of chairs and you can sit there and get your work done. That's where I would do most of my work. That, the study rooms in the library and regular study rooms in the tra transitional because I know in my room, I can't study in there. So learn how you, how you learn. If you know that you are a person who can't do their homework when with noise around, go to an area that you know that's going to be quiet, like the library. But if you know you can't be somewhere that's quiet, go somewhere like the student center. You see what I'm saying? Just find what works for you. And once you get on that path, you're going to be straight. How did you make friends? None of my friends are going to JSU. Same. So, like I said, I moved around my whole life. I'm originally from Cleveland, but I've been, I've moved around at least seven or eight times. And before I came to college, I was living in California. In California, they weren't really pushing HBCU, so none of my friends was going there. I was the only one trying to advocate for them. So I would say the best way to make friends is just reach out. Join them group chats that they have. Um, if it's a hashtag JSU26 J or your school 26, follow the hashtag use the hashtag um also follow their social medias if it's a for example since you guys are jsu26 if there's a hash a jsu26 page follow it get posted on there you'll get connections that way and then welcome week during welcome week i talk to a lot of people and i'm really shy so it was hard but they don't have make you mingle with people but the welcome week leaders are going to get you to network with people so you don't have to worry about that part and then after that once school start and if you haven't networked join clubs that's the number one way join clubs and go to events and if you're in the same place every day at some point somebody's gonna notice like oh this girl is always right here at 12 and somebody's gonna be like hmm 
I wonder what she be doing. And they're gonna come up to you. Hey, you're always right here at 12. What do you be doing? And y'all gonna make friendship that way. And then other than that, just organically talking to people saying, hey, that's gonna get you connections and making friends. And this question will be answered by the next portion of the video. This is all the advice given to me by peers. Um, some advice I give input on as well. So just watch this next part of the video if you want freshman advice. So we're gonna hop straight into the advice. So first piece of advice that we had was get involved on campus. It helps with networking and also finding who you are. And this is very true. Most of the advice given is um, along those lines, but I'm still gonna read them off. But you need to figure out who you are before you come to campus. Because if you don't know who you are and you come to campus, you're going to end up being a copy. You don't want to be a copy of somebody else. It just don't look good. So Next, don't mess with anybody on any athletic team if you don't want to get your feelings hurt. I personally have never dealt with that, so I have no idea. You will have to tap in with her to find out, you know, more on that. But I've heard a lot of, you know, don't mess with football players. They're the worst, da 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 this and the third. So... Me, I'm a quiet person. I stay to myself and I mostly stay in my room except for the time y'all see me go out in the vlog. So I don't know nothing about that. But like she said, stay away, stay away. If you're a freshman and see you're talking to you, stay away, stay away. Okay. Work hard your first year so you can have enough cushion for the next years to come. That is very true. Um, I didn't work as hard as I could have. So I'm not where I want to be. Now I have to work a little bit harder to get to that next level. So start off your freshman year strong. Soon as you get an assignment, write it in your notebook. Soon as you get like, or put it in your calendar, your notes, please, 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 please make sure you're being organized because that's gonna help you along the way for real. Go to class, that's about half the battle. Hey, now he was preaching because at some point I, you know, I had, you know, a little mental block and I didn't feel like getting out of bed and I didn't want to do anything and I couldn't even make myself go to class. Going to class is so important. You are paying so much money to go to school. Go to class. I don't care if the class 8 a.m. Do not pick 8 a.m. by the way. Do not do that. This is not high school. Completely different ball game. But if you got an 8 a.m., you got to start preparing before school to wake up at that time. Do not spend all your money on clothes because you're just going to end up wearing the same stuff. Now, I agree and I disagree. Me, I'm a pop of fit. Sorry. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Yes, HBCUs, now the fashion show, da 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 da. Okay, but I'm gonna still eat the girls up every chance I get. So if you one of those people who go and eat the girls up every single day and you actually know that's what you're gonna do, do that. But if you're not a person who usually be putting that on, then do not buy like heck of clothes because now you got a room. One, rooms is not that big but you got a room that's hecka small, you got hecka clothes, and now you ain't got no space. And you're not even wearing most of them. Like that's basically wasting your money. Wait for your money for like, if you wanna go to parties, food, transportation, things like that. Save your money for those things instead of just buying a school year worth of clothes. Get involved in school activities, go to class, and don't fall to peer pressure. She said two new things that y'all really need to listen to. Do not fall to peer pressure. It's gonna be a lot of stuff out there. People gonna probably pressure you to drink, pressure you to smoke. Well, people don't really be pressuring you to smoke because if they bought it, they don't want to share it. So I doubt that's gonna happen. But if they do, don't say yeah if you don't want to. If somebody is pressuring you to go somewhere and you don't want to go to that party, don't go. Because there's times been when people come to this party, come to this party. And I'm like, nah, I'm really cool off that. And then something ended up happening at that party. So trust your gut, for real. That's your main thing. Trust your gut with anything you do. Um, also, getting involved in activities. Go to welcome week. Do not sit in your room welcome week because no, I don't care if they banging on your door at 7 a.m. and it's 7 a.m. and you don't want to get up. Bruh, go to welcome week. I promise you, it's going to be the most fun you had. Yeah, you're going to be irritated for like probably 30 minutes because they woke you up. But after that, you're going to go and, you know, learn the school dances, learn chants. Have like, promise you, follow JSU Welcome Week right here. Follow them because they, they those leaders are really gonna help y'all. And they're also there for anything that you need. Just like I'm helping you, they're gonna be even better at helping you because they're certified. So really tap in with them. Um, and regular activities like hot spots during the school year and like even little events like educational events, go to those because you can network. So if they're having a mental health seminar, 
and you want to learn more about mental health but you feel like it's going to be weird that you're the only one in your friend group going still go because it's about you and then you're going to end up meeting more people who are interested in the same thing you're interested in leave yeah. them football players alone Ooh, see i told y'all them football players i don't know what's going on with them because i like i said i ain't never experienced it but this girl said stay away from the football players so if they say oh hey mm -mm, mm -mm, just keep walking just keep walking some people are genuinely just trying to help freshmen and you can tell the difference between somebody trying to help a freshman and somebody trying to help a freshman. So make sure y'all know the difference between somebody trying to get at you and somebody trying to help you. The key to success is to stay focused. Really, during in college, had that mindset the whole time. I came here to get my degree or I came here this year to accomplish this. If you want to become Miss Freshman, come in with that mindset, I'm gonna be Miss Freshman. And you you do that and you pursue it and you do it with it. If, before you get to school know who you are but also before you get to school know what your plan is so you're not coming to school doing whatever sally and john did because sally and john got two different things than what you got going on but you trying to follow sally and john now you lost in the sauce and your grade slipping so get get everything in order before school even start before you touch that campus get everything in order remember where you came from stay true to yourself remain focused and set goals so remain focused set goals we just went over that but the new two things was remember where you came from and stay true to yourself that's just like what i was saying about sally and john you're trying to be sally and john because sally and john got famous well school famous and you want to be like them or you're trying to talk to them because you want clout don't do that so don't do stuff for clout and don't only talk to people for what they can give you talk to them to be genuine and genuinely build connections because that's how i went about things i just start hey how's your day hey y'all and some people they're not gonna like it some people they're gonna say hey back eventually y'all end up being friends don't force any relationships with anybody um any type of relationship friendship regular relationship nothing don't force nothing let stuff just come natural just bob out i'm telling you ride your own way till you know it's your time Yo, time gonna come, I swear it is. If it's not done by midnight, take you to bed. Them all-nighters ain't worth your rest and sanity. Now, I agree and disagree. It is some nights when I stayed up real late and worked on a paper and got a B. Now, but it's also some nights I worked on some stuff and it was not good enough because I was so tired. So you gotta know your limit. Do not do multiple all-nighters back to back to back to back. Now, if you had one like every two weeks all right but every single day you're going to be draining yourself you're not going to be ready to get up for class and then you're not focused in class you're not learning and retaining information so like she said don't do the all-nighters but what i'm saying is don't do them all the time one two three all right but don't don't overdo it please like you need your rest it's gonna help you think and just make you have a good week you can have you can have a social life and still perform well academically it's all about your work et work ethic this is true literally my roommate my roommate was turning up all semester however still got dean's list do not play with her she's that girl yeah. never stress about anything you cannot control now this right here is really something i had to learn myself so i'm really thankful that you know they put this in a comment for advice that is so real y'all like you gonna want to do so many things and be stressed about so many things that you can't even control like your grade you can control that but don't overstress. But, but at the same time you an individual and you got to care about yourself first so don't get lost in the sauce and start caring about stuff that don't matter or overthinking because that's really gonna cloud your mind up with stuff and negative thoughts you don't need negative thoughts you need everything to be positive when you're coming in if the financial aid office is playing with you on the phone you can control that go up to their office excuse me where my money like the gross sisters because that's that's something you can control do your work when it first opens and make friends the first week have fun this is very true that first week of school like i said that welcome week you need to be, hey, 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 my name's this, my name's that. Trying to get yourself out there, trying to make friends. But like I said, don't force it. For small town girlies, get active. I hated first semester, but once I joined MD, it it got much better. Okay, so MD is Mad Drama, um, our drama club that's on campus. They put on amazing productions. Make sure you don't miss those because they be funny. I swear they be funny. I be literally laughing. 
loud. Like, that's how funny they be. Um, and like, their productions is so well put together. If you want to be a part of, like, and you can dance, sing, act, um, it's a lot of stuff you can do. When they drop their flyer, just make sure you follow a mad drama page, um, and they'll drop their flyer. Or, um, JSU Engage will also drop it. Follow JSU Engage, they're gonna tell you everything going on everything everything going on jazz you engage follow them to piggyback um, off of what she was saying i would say to get active there are many clubs on campus so either you can do what i did go to the website and see what orgs they have on campus that you can join or wait to the organization fair and go to the organization fair and just mingle with all the clubs and see which ones is really pulling you in i have applied for girls coalition which is a great club apply to that I applied to that, I didn't get in, but it is a very good experience. If you're a girl who loves to uplift girls and see other girls winning and you want to learn how to win, how they winning, make sure you join that club. Um, another club was I tried to be Miss Men of Excellence. Men of Excellence is a male organization where they uplift men, basically the male version of Girls Coalition. So if you're a boy and you want to join Men of Excellence, please do so. Um, they are all super nice, very helpful. Um, so yeah, and if you want to try to be Miss Excellence, do that as well. It's a good opportunity. I learned like, you know, a few tips on how to present myself to people and stuff like that. Model for about one semester. It was a great opportunity, you know, to come to people, come around and be with people who love fashion, you know, basically get, you know, simple techniques on how to walk. And then second um, semester, I was a part of J Style U, which is basically a fashion collective team. So basically a whole production team. They have models, um, videographers, designers, um, cameramen, like pictures, they have, um, the lead has everything. Yeah. Yeah, so, oh, and artists, like any type of artist. So make sure you tap in with them if you're interested in any of those things. And then lastly, I am also a part of um, JSU Social Work Association. Um, they are really helpful if you want to be a social worker. They give awesome tips in the group chat. They have a whole bunch of community service opportunities you can attend and seminars to learn more about your major. There's one of those for every single major. So like I said, go to the JSU website and look up, you know, organizations and there's going to be a full list. And if you don't want to do that, just go to the organization buyer. Put yourself first. This, this put yourself first advice is so essential to college life. Don't worry about what this person is doing, what that person doing, or how can you help the next person. Help yourself first, because that's what I had to learn the hard way. Just make You're sure gonna help. you focus on you. Do not worry about this person, that person, that person. Focus on you first, and then worry about everybody else, so that you can stay on your path. Because if you help everybody else get to their point, they up here at the finish line, and you still back here at the start. You ain't even come off the blocks. So Be you to the fullest. You had your time to see things, and now it's time to conquer it. So after welcome week, after the first month of school, you kind of gauge, okay, this what I need help on, this what I've been doing bad, this what I've been doing good. I'm not gonna do nothing this semester because mm -mm. when you get an idea, you put down the work for that idea and you hit the ground running. But that's another thing. Do not tell everybody your business. Do not tell everybody your ideas. Do not tell everybody everything. Because at the end of the day, you just got to college. You don't know these people for real. Yeah, y'all may have got close, but you never know who could snake you. Because it could be the closest person to you that snake you. So, for real, keep your head on the swivel. Like I said, stay focused. And if you got a bad feeling in your stomach, bag back. Now, I'm not saying don't be friends with people because you got a bad feeling. But if you got a little bad feeling, just be conscious of how you go about things. Get the community service out as quickly as possible. You have to have a certain amount of community service hours. I actually don't remember right now. My mom just drew a blank. But you have to have that amount by the time you graduate. If you join a club that's giving out mad community service freshman year, you're probably going to be halfway finished. Because I think it's probably like 250 or some big number like that. But if you join Blue Ambassadors, at eh, Blue Ambassadors, another club on campus, they give community service for giving tours. And many of you, I'm sure y'all did a tour at Jackson State and y'all had somebody, you know, come up to you and give y'all a tour to school. Pursue all opportunities as soon as you can. You never know who you'll meet and what could result in it. So they're basically saying, you know, keep your mind open. Don't say, oh, I'm not gonna hang out with that girl cause she dressed weird. Oh, I'm not gonna hang out with that boy cause he gay. Video. Oh, I'm not Do not force any relationships. That person is gonna know that you're forcing it. That person is also gonna be like, mm, she's fake. 
they may be fake back to you though. They may, oh yeah, hey girl, hey. But in the back of their mind, oh yeah, I already know she's fake type thing. So don't, please don't be fake. Be real, be yourself and take them opportunities like the comment said. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you have any more questions about Jackson State, HBCUs, or college in general, make sure you comment them down below. If you wanna like, comment, subscribe, please do so so we can be friends, cause period. We don't be